and welcome back. Today we're on the hunt again for an auxiliary bunker. This time though it's a special duties outstation, uh, basically a radio station um, which will have been manned by civilians. So yeah, uh, I've got to go check this wood behind me and see if I can find it and if I do I'll get back to you. So yeah we found it, um, took a couple of hours um, trying out my new rope ladder. Tony's just tying it off there. So yeah look at that. Well camouflage, this hasn't been open for years this. It's a nightmare to find, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, two hours one fucking hell. I wonder what's down there. So Let's get know. down and see. So that's the uh, rope ladder all set up. Let's do a bit of a adjust in there. Just pull it away from the wall. Managed to find these old uh, fence posts. Now let's get down there. Into the unknown. That's it. So here we are, down inside the bunker. Ladder worked perfect. That Tony made. Cheers, Tony. So this is part of the um, original hatch. This reinforced concrete here, um, and there's more of it under there. So yeah, overall it's in very good condition. Um, made out of elephant iron. Some of the original wooden beam there for the door, or the door frame, whatever you want to call it. Got little hooks. Don't know what they're for. There's part of the uh, mechanism for the, the hatchway to get in. So yeah, let's go into the other chamber. As you can see, it's in very good condition. Not like the ones I've seen in the past. This is solid. So that looks like um, air vents, in and out maybe. That one's a bit smaller than that one. There's also one here. So I'm not too sure if one of these pipes is for passing a message down because what they did was they used tennis balls with a slit in them they put messages in and a messenger would come along above ground somewhere um, and drop a tennis ball down with a message inside which would then be transmitted back to uh, headquarters or to wherever it needed to go here looks like a couple of um, counterweights maybe for the hatchway I don't know what else they could be used for, but yeah, something's been attached to them or got a weird angle on them as well, a weird shape. See, so yeah, there's them hooks again. So I believe this is the uh, coax cable in and out. Just move my bag. See that's where the coax cable would have come through and it would have gone up above ground and into the back of a tree all nicely camouflaged away. See I'm very pleased with the condition of this in here. Obviously you've got a lot of dead wood and stuff like that on the floor which can be expected over the years where it's fallen through. But um, yeah, quite nice and clean this will. I'll give you one quick go through again. So there we are looking down the uh, shaft. Got the original wooden beam there. Originally it looked like it had a bit of an arch. 
but maybe decided not to uh, go with that or that's just the actual height of the elephant iron and they just filled that part in so yeah it's only a small little bunker but for its intended purpose it would have done the job adequately um, I think it only had a, like a two man crew or one man at, at once one person operating it at once the radio frog there don't know where he's got in this looks to be part of um, an original table or shelf unit so it definitely looks old enough to be like that I don't want to touch it because I think it'll just fall apart there's another of the uh, metal rings there So I've just been looking around and I don't know if you can see that but it looks like a maker's mark. Um, the top says, looks to say Britain, um, must be some sort of logo there, maybe the light's a little bit bright. And then I'm not too sure what that says, I can see M E R, looks like two eyes. Um, Yes, yeah, so if you've got any ideas who the maker might have been of this uh, elephant iron, let me know. I'll do some digging myself and, and see what I can find out. Some nice spiders down here for you people that love spiders. I have nightmares about them, so hopefully none crawl into my bag. I can see a bit of um, a name there as well, and it looks like it says make. That's the only part I can see. Uh, Britain make uh, yeah thank you for watching um, let me know what you think to this little explore um, I think the overall length of this is about 16 17 foot um, yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon bye for now